Hey guys, Funderboy here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I implemented territory in my RTS game, so you can hopefully do the same in yours. So let's get right into it. So the first place we need to go is the blueprint of our building. This is the thing that spawns in the building and allows us to change the place where the building is actually placed down. So we want to have a script on it. And we want to have a boolean, and we can just call that boolean is in territory. And by default, we want to say equal to false. And if we are not in the territory, then we do not want to build this blueprint. So we set the boolean on the building, it can build it to false. If we are in the territory, or we are not colliding with any objects, then we can build the structure there. This can build variable is just a bool, by default we say equal to true, we'll override it in the process function. And if we can build, we just do some stuff with the material, and if we can build down here, and we press the left mouse button, and we have the money, and we're in the territory, and then it just executes some code to spawn the building, so we just instance it, we add child, we set transform, and we subtract money and queue the blueprint free. Now, this is all good, but how can we actually set this is in territory? Well, in my game at least, I have a structure that does this. It's just called an outpost. It has an area around it. I called it territory area, and it has a collision shape of a sphere. The sphere is actually pretty big because the buildings in my game are kind of larger. And I also just have a mesh instance with a custom shader on it to represent the area we can build. And I have this, I have the area node signals body entered and body exited connected to the script on this building. And we have a array titled buildings and radius. And whenever a building enters this territory area, we get if the body is in building blueprints and it's data.faction, which is something that I've implemented for my game is equal to the faction of this NATO outpost. And then we want to append that body to this buildings and radius array and we want to get the blueprint script and set it is in territory to true. And whenever a body exited, we do the same checks and then we remove that body from the buildings and radius just by using the erase function. And then we get its parent and then set its is in territory to false. In the process function, we do an if statement to see if buildings in radius dot size is greater than zero. This prevents useless calls. And I have a for loop for every building in our buildings in radius. We just want to say building dot get parent dot is in territory is equal to true. The reason I'm saying get parent is because there is a kinematic body on this blueprint here. So if I did not say get parent, it would be getting this kinematic body. So get parent just makes it get the blueprint. And I have set up a state machine for my buildings. And if we are in the current state of cell, then we will queue free and we'll just set all the money back and everything. I do not actually destroy a building when they are removed from territory. I'll probably do that in the future just pr to prevent base spamming. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you found it somewhat informal, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If not, let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, you can also join my Discord to get updates before I post devlogs on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, then the link will be in the description below. That's all from me for now. Funuber out.